As the University of Idaho watched senior Alyssa Charleston play her last game in the Cowan Spectrum. So much has happened right here on this court, emotionally, physically. Um, you break through so many problems and so many struggles, but you get so much stronger and it's, I would love to know how much time I've really spent on this court. Charleston makes a conscious effort to put her best foot forward on and off the court. One of her greatest honors was being named Academic All-American twice in her career. And it's just an honor to be able to put Idaho again on the map for something good, um, not just basketball, but academically too. It takes discipline to balance a demanding broadcast major and also to be a leader on her team. I have a special schedule. It's pretty, <laughs> you know, demanding in terms of basketball and um, they've pushed me farther than I've thought I've ever been able to get to. You know? This is my brother, Jeff. Charleston gives credit to her parents and how she was raised, along with the support from her coaches and professors here at Idaho. Sprinting from practice memorial gym to pr football practice here, where I still have my knee pads, my ankle braces, my basketball shoes on, and I'm shooting an interview, you know. Um, that kind of thing is like what defines my college career. Charleston knew from her first conversation with Coach John Newley four years ago, Idaho was the perfect fit for her. He said I was going to be a contributor, you know, right off the bat. And I played in every game my freshman year. Charleston has led her team in scoring and rebounds in back-to-back -back seasons and has pulled down almost every athletic award possible in her career. And you want to leave the program better than when you found it. And, um, you know, just to see it keep, continue to go up. You know, we're taking yeah. steps each and every year to get higher and higher and, you know, get this program on the map. Charleston will not be satisfied until her team takes this week's WAC tournament and returns to the NCAA for a second straight year. With me, it's never being satisfied with where I'm at and always wanting to be better and learn more and be coachable and just always improving. And I think for this reason and so many more, number 33 will always be remembered as Alyssa Charleston. So really my emotions were happiness for her and all she's accomplished here as, as a Vandal. You know, one of the all-time great Vandals, man. She, she is and, and always will be.